So you want to know how much camber is on your car? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it for free, quick and easy. And how you're going to do it is by using your mobile phone. Right, so I know you're probably thinking how accurate a mobile phone going to be to find out how much camber you've got. Well, I'm going to show you how you can do it and make it fairly accurate. It's, it's pretty easy, right? So what you want is, is a bubble app. <clears throat> so one that I use is bubble level right there there are other types around so if you look at that you can see now it's giving you your degrees um blah -de blah -de blah now you might think well how accurate is that going to be and straight out of the box the accuracy isn't spot on so i'm going to show you how you can get it accurate to a certain extent and give yourself a rough idea of how much cam you got so the, let's get into it and i'll show you Right, so as you can see, I've got a spirit level here in the vice, and that is bang on level. Reason being, we're going to use it as a reference or our date and point. Now, if you're not familiar with spirit levels, you want to check your spirit level is accurate. Simplest way to do that is fragments. If I put that there, and you take note of how your bubble is, spin the level around. And if it's exactly the same, which this one isn't, you know it's inaccurate. So because this one has changed, the bubble wasn't in the same place when you flipped it, that's not an accurate level. This one is a good Stanley Pro level. I know this one is accurate. Flipped it around is true. So always do that with a spit level. You can. I always do that before I buy them. So if you want to check, this works in that way. Do exactly the same. Find the surface, doesn't have to be level, just make sure the bubble goes in the same place. Flip him around the other way. And if it's the same, your level is accurate. Buy it. You'd be surprised how many off the shelf are non-level <coughs> or accurate. Right, now we got that out of the way. What you can do is, if you haven't got a spirit level as big as this or whatever, you can, like I did, find a bit of a door frame. If you know that's perfectly level. You can use that to set your date and point and show sure exactly how you do that. So when you've got the app on, what you're going to do is put that against the level. Now you'll notice, now if you flip side to side, you'll get different readings. You have to be fairly uh, consistent, right? So that's reading 0 0.5. So the phone basically is half a degree out. So what you do is you tap the screen. So now that's locked and we've got a, a reference point of what is true zero according to a spirit level. So if I tilt the phone now, see how it changes? That 0 0.5 stays the same because that's our reference. And then we get the angle. So then what you do is, once you've set it on a level, you go to your car and, oops, I must have touched it, my finger have knocked it out. Let's reset that. That's what you've got to be careful of. If you uh, touch it, you can muck up the setting. So I'm going to reset it again. So there we are. You touch the screen. And there we have it. So that's our, now our zero reference. So go to the car. Careful I don't touch the screen. So there we have it, it's flashing between 1 and 1.1 degrees. So, the important thing is as well, don't do it where you've got the buttons on the phone. Your phone needs to be fairly flat. So you saw we had 1.1 .1 degrees flashing between 1 and 1.1. Is that accurate? Well, take a look at this paperwork here. This is when I recently took the car for alignment. This is my left rear camber. 1.09 the rest of it is a mess the whole car needs sorting out so when i went on a track day this is what it looked like and as you can see it's uh it is a mess i didn't get it adjusted i just went for the free check after fitting the suspension purely because i want to go for corner weighting and i want to go to um a professional place who's does it the place i went for that is just a general tire alignment shop so plan is to get corner weighted but with the coronavirus i can't go in and film anything so i'm waiting for this to lift so i can i can film long story there you are so if you want to set your cameras quick easy get yourself an app 
on your phone and you can do it just like I did right that is it people thanks for watching this video don't forget to give it the old thummy thing and all that stuff and uh, I'll see you on the next video cheers bye Right, so we're going out again now. We've got Connor in front. Uh, I'm gonna follow him this time, see how it goes.